So the John Wick verse is emerging, good or bad, and how does it stack up? So we don't know too many details about what the Continental, the prequel series about the John Wick film series will be about. So these all have to be very vague remarks because, again, just don't know very much. Essentially, the story is we're going to be following young Winston, played by Colin, and it's how young Winston, I guess, has a rise to power in terms of taking over. And we're going to see things from this kind of young character's POV. We do have some of the classical characters from the Wick universe, such as Sharon. We also get Charlie and the Adjudicator. And we're going to get a ton of new people like Hans and Gretel and some other characters who don't even have names. Some of them do have names like Lemmy, but we don't really know what they're going to do. Are they going to be comedic characters? Are they going to be fighting characters? Are they just going to be randos who are going to get killed off? Don't know. Are they the hidden big bad of the season? Don't know that either. So a lot of vagueness. But insofar as what we have, I think it is more good than bad. And I would give them a lot of points for hiring Mel Gibson, who's going to come in as Cormac. Again, with Mel, I think it's very clear. I don't like his politics. He is what he is. He's a pretty raging, racist, homophobic, anti-Semitic conspiracy theorist. But whatever you think about him, personally or politically, he is a damn good actor and a really solid director. Granted, he puts out mostly fascist propaganda, but it is what it is. But I'm glad they do have him on board. Whatever else, as an actor, he's pretty magnetic. His some, he is sometimes, frankly, mixed, I think. Some of his film roles don't work, but overall, he's pretty solid. So it'll be interesting what McCormick, what Cormac is going to do in this series. But turning to the other people, I'm going to have some doubts. Like the idea of the adjudicator being in the series, I don't really have an issue with. But the adjudicator, the way she was introduced in Parabellum, I'm really mostly negative. I really, really did not like the actress. I really, really didn't like her acting style. I really, really didn't like The Adjudicator. I just thought the whole thing was really stupid and silly. The idea of The Adjudicator is fine. The idea of The Adjudicator being a woman is also fine. I have no issue with that. But just the way the actress did that role really was off-putting. I really didn't like her. And not in a way, well, you're not supposed to like the character. No, I just didn't like her at all. I didn't like any single moment with her on screen. I just felt she was stupid. It was pointless. It was needless. She was just there to pat out the plot, to make the running time bigger, to make it seem a more deep, serious film. Be like, ooh, there's an extra layer of mythology. It didn't add a single thing at all. It just made things way more confusing. But it's another actress. Maybe the adjudicator will be stylized or visualized differently because it just did not work for me in Parabellum. I'd have to say that was the number one thing I totally disliked about Parabellum, if they could just completely edit her out that film would have been um, literally 9.5 for me so yeah i just didn't like the actress and i didn't like the dialogue i didn't like almost anything with the adjudicator i recognize for the plot she needed to do certain things but this is its own story they'll do a better job with this version of the adjudicator and they do have some strong people on here like ray being part of this cast is very reassuring you may not recognize him right away but he was on sons of anarchy he played lincoln and He's a pretty unique type, even with the weird world of Sons of Anarchy, because although it makes sound like I'm a raging sexist, I am kind of sensitive to certain topics. And Sons of Anarchy, I'm always kind of on the edge about because they did a lot of stuff, which I found even I like politically incorrect humor, but even I found it like going way too far. And Lincoln goes way too far, too. But I like them a lot, even though he is a very disgusting character, a very loathsome character. There's something about the way that actor performed it that was very intriguing. And him being so obsessed was very compelling. So Lincoln, the character, I think, as performed by Ray, was very, very good. So hopefully he's going to bring the same intensity to this performance with this version of Wick. But we're going to have to wait and see. So the talent is pretty rock solid. A lot of these people are new, but some of them do know how to fight. They do have a background in martial arts. So it's a very intriguing mix of old people, new people, very veteran actors, and some new talent. It looks like good stuff. And I do hope that Ian is going to make a few cameos, because I'm hoping they're going to do like a flashback, flash forward kind of perspective, because we know he's going to be alive, right? I'm sure they're going to do fake out deaths and, oh, wow, he got severely injured. Oh, no, is he going to make it? But we all know he's going to be alive. So 
we know the basic contours of the story. It's not really like, is he going to make it? We know he's going to make it. So it's going to be just about the world building details. And the Wicked Universe is fascinating. And I do hope we get a little bit more with the Bowery King, because I really don't want yet another series just devoted to the Bowery King. I'm like, this is a great idea. I don't mind spin-off films. I don't mind spin-off series. But we've been here before where they really dole out information and tease it out in such little tidbits to say, hey, you like this series? Well, we've got another series coming. And I'm like, that was fine with the Star Trek universe. I think that was mostly well done. Yes, Picard has been very disappointing, but the first season was okay. The second season, yes, is atrocious, but in principle, having an expanding universe is fine. I think Star Wars is a little bit more mixed, but I'm okay if the Wick universe does expand, but I think it's good we have one solo film coming that's a spinoff in this series, but beyond that, let's wait and see. I, I don't want yet another prequel trilogy about Uncle Charlie. I don't care about Uncle Charlie. I barely remember Uncle Charlie. I barely remember the adjudicator, but I still kind of remember her, but I don't want to. So I get it in principle. If this is a good idea, we should keep going. Let's have an adjudicator series. But I, I think we've got quite enough for the foreseeable future. This does look like a great project, but let's go a little slow. That's all I'm saying. But good stuff. But let's let's be careful. We don't <laughs> overload this universe which I think one of the attractions is it's pretty plain and simple they're trying to kill him and he's trying to kill them 